What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I have for you this epic solo run of the heroic version of the Whisper Mission But before we get into the video guys and how this is done and the setup it is using To be with a chance of winning my monthly controller giveaway Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below More details will follow the video at the end Okay so this was sent in to me by a pal of mine Will UK who loves to solo absolutely everything so shout out to him his twitter can be found linked within the video description if you do want to check him out and show him some love okay so yeah let's get into the video now he's running titan um i don't think he's using any exotic armors uh he's using the midnight cube hand cannon he's using the man -na 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 scout rifle which we know is an absolute beast and exotic weapon he's using the black spindle order whisper of the worm now as you can see on a titan it's just it's just so much easier i mean i'm main hunters i can't really use titans i can use them but doing jumping puzzles on a titan for me is my worst nightmare but you can't do this on a hunter you cannot jump this far on a hunter it's ridiculous but it's how quick you can get through things on a titan i mean ridiculous is that like a few minutes in and it's like that oh contacting destiny servers that is not a good thing that ain't a good thing <laughs> but we've all seen that before so yes he's using the titan stump breaker uh, subclass uh, -na 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 -na, midnight cube and the black spindle whisper of the worm now, it's just crazy how quick you can get through things titans are op people titans are op they really are now this part for me is a nightmare on a hunter that happens to me i always over jump that i always over jump that craziness Craziness. I'm actually watching this for the first time with you guys, so I'm curious to see. Now, obviously, the, by the time you're actually watching this video, we're not sure if the heroic version will still be available for those who complete the normal version because we know Bungie tweeted out something about uh, it's going away for a week, so it will be back a week following tomorrow's reset. Today's date is 23rd of July, so the reset is tomorrow, and we know that. Um, it's gonna be it. it's gonna be gone for a week, so you won't be able to get the black spindle for a whole week. After that, you will be able to get it again. I'm guessing for another weekly event. But yeah, so yeah, this is hero version, which unlocks when you do that version. And this is a selectable mission from IO's directory, so you can just select this and do this when you want. And it's, 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 it, to be honest, it's once you get the hang of it, it's not hard at all. I mean, I've run the hero version with a couple of friends, and I mean, it's so easy with the black spindle. I mean, it just makes things so much easier. It really does. And he's getting through this so fast. It's amazing that Titans really should be their heaviest and slowest class of the lot. But just like Destiny 1, it seems as though they're the quickest. It really does. It seems as though they are the quickest. Now he's got this far in under three minutes. That's crazy. Probably take me about five minutes in the hunter to get this far. And he's used a couple of shortcuts as well, which we all know about. The one at the start and the one which avoids that massive jumping puzzle. For the grass little ledges. That's annoying, that is from here. That is so annoying. I can't tell you how many times I died doing that. Can't tell you. Okay, so coming up into the room here with the ads. Um, yes, I knew his black spin was going to come out. And I know exactly what he's going to do here. He's just going to aim for the main dudes first and take out all the ads after. Now, he did tell me this is far from a clean run. I mean, it's extremely far from a clean run. And what he does in the end room, I know already because uh, he explained it to me earlier on when we was in the party. And to be honest, I mean, the time he saves rushing through this, one well, the beginning parts with a Titan because of the jumps, I'd probably say he wastes in the final room. So if I was, if you had a hunter, well, I mean, we all got hunters, people. Everyone has hunters because they're the best. We're not that hunter master class. But if you've got a hunter, I mean, take your time, using the storm to EE5 to jump in if you want to be sure. And then switch to the Radiant Flux using obviously your Arc subclass, the Arc Strider, because of the Arc Singes on the heroic version. And using your Radiant Flux, I mean, it just makes a super last for absolute ever. And like I said, when we get when, at the end room, I mean, like I said, you, 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 your Titan's hammers can only take out. Oh, he died. Your Titan's hammers can only take out so many ads and do so much damage to the Blights. But the Arc Strider will last forever. If you keep killing as it just keeps going and going and going. And like I said, the time he wastes in the final room, picking off all the enemies with his weapon, he probably wastes a couple of minutes there. Which you would kill these easily with an Arc Strider. 
uh, Hunter. Now Warlocks, I mean, I've only just created my Warlock in this game. I mean, my Warlock now is a level two and a half. He is bossing it a level two and a half, people. I will get him up to a max level before the uh, four seconds comes out. In Destiny 1, I had one of every character. I mean, obviously I only had a Warlock because of the South of Rays and cheesing and making things a lot easier in Rays and that. I mean, they took that out now and I just thought, well, I don't, there's no other reason. I don't like one. I don't like Warlocks. That's the only reason I like Warlocks. I hate the jumps. I mean, it's crazy than the, the Titans. If you bounce off a ledge, you're going flying back. There's nothing you can do about it. So, yeah. But I just decided I'd do one when content's kind of dry now. I mean, this is obviously livening things up a bit. But content has been dry. I thought I'd probably make a warlock and just waste a bit of time leveling that up. So I will get that done before Forsaken. But well, like I said, for this, I can't really give you a decent guide of uh, what you do with uh, the warlock. I mean, I know the, the Karnstein armlets are quite decent now. The melee regens your health and keeps regenerating for over 8 seconds. I know that Empowering Rift's absolutely monstrous now. Um, I mean, that would work wonders in the final room. I mean, with your Black Spindle people, damn! You wouldn't have to reload even if you missed a headshot. And that's the thing with the Black Spindle, obviously if you miss a headshot and you can understand the ads in the final room, they're all over the place. And when you're obviously going to be sitting back, taking out the boss, taking out the bosses with that Black Spindle, I mean, you can easily miss a headshot, but if you're in an Empowering Rift, you're getting that extra damage. Never have to reload. It's ridiculous, ridiculous. Now, me personally, when I was, I did obviously not doing. We got through that room pretty quick, actually. Not doing the heroic version, obviously first. I used the Polaris Lance in the normal version, which just for Rex. Couldn't use the superior in it. Yep, do it. That's what I'd do. I'd use my uh, Arc Strider here and just take out this whole room so so easy. I really know. But yeah, using the Polaris Lance in the normal version in that final room is just incredible. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. I put this off and a couple of people solo it. Doing that way as well, which I haven't even, I'm not really attempted to solve it. I mean, I just run through it messing about, but, but looking at this and how he's doing this, he comes to the stream, takes his knight out on the left straight away, and this is going to jump up there and take out the others. Yeah, I mean, looking at this, I mean, I know it's on PC, it looks quicker, but in reality, it ain't that much quicker. I could probably do this using this actual strap. Oh, he's going to die, yeah. Because it, it ain't like you're. Hard up for heavy, even because heavy spawns quite often. I mean, the, the big dudes in this, as we know, do drop heavy. So, unless you're absolutely shocking, like him here, can't hear headshots. <laughs> unless you're absolutely shocking, you shouldn't really run out of heavy. Not really. But that's why he's got his mana -na 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 scout rifle for as well. If you haven't got that, I mean, there's a few other scouts which are okay, but the mana -na 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 is a beast. The Midnight Coop, yes, it's a great, great hand cannon. I know not many people have got that. I haven't got it for one, I use the Better Devils. And um, that's my substitute for the Midnight Coop. But yeah, I guess it'll just work. Obviously, it won't work, be as efficient, but it'll still work. Now, this room is an absolute nightmare. The ads, even when you're in a fire team, the ads can be overwhelming. And I also didn't take out the Blight Star as well, which is probably pretty smart because it does block off a lot of the incoming shots from enemies which should probably be the right move to do the only problem i can see is he's gonna get sniped here i can see it the only thing i guess I it's quite smart and you don't really need to i mean a lot of people waste their like shot oh i was doing that when i first got into it and when we was first running this i was running the shotgun the uh, sg shotgun you know the epsg shotgun or the the Saint 14 shotgun. I was using all my heavy trying to take out the blights, thinking you had to, but actually, in reality, you don't have to. You just have to take out the enemies. Yeah, this knight here as well. Yeah, but using this, you could easily use this to guide people. I mean, like, like I said, this ain't a flawless run. He's died once already. I'm pretty sure he did. If I'm mistaken. I'm sure he died. But I know he does die. He's told me he's died, so he dies a few times, like four or five times. So, yeah, is this far from flawless? Far? He's only got a few enemies left now, I believe. And he moves on to the next room. He's got 10 minutes left. So, this is actually right here. I would have thought it would have got here. Yeah, it's got past this part by 10 minutes. But, I'm saying. but I haven't watched anybody else do this floor, so I'm guessing some of these beasts like Glad and some of these amazing P uh, PvE players that like to solo absolutely everything. Esoteric as well as one of them, he just solos absolutely epic. He'd solo this melee only, I'm pretty sure that's coming, people. You stay tuned for his channel. I'm pretty sure that is coming. Okay, so that room's done. 
Another thing about this room as well. I didn't realise you didn't have to take out all the enemies. We're always going to die. He's got to die here. There's no way he's making through that. No way he's doing that. Oh, he's, 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 he's turned back on himself. He's come back on himself. Smart move. Use some heavy combat for that pack. Burn these dudes alive. Yeah, you don't have to take out all the enemies in this room, which I didn't know at the start either. Which will save a lot of time as well, because a lot of people just sit there, sit back, taking out these uh, Scions one by one. Okay, so he's changed to his eternal thingy bub. I guess now just for the burn. Oh, it's inches on by the way as well. So yes, if you got that mana na 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 Oh we just about made it through that. Pretty cool. So this is where he actually wastes a lot of time. Now if you're on a heart a hunter arc strider here. You can absolutely annihilate the stream. You really can. It just, it's, especially with the random fluxes. I mean, it's just ridiculous. With a warlock here, I'm not sure what you could do. I mean, stormcaller. I mean, that would be quite decent. I guess taking out the ads, arc as well. But yeah, obviously, using that empowering rift, sitting at the back with that black spindle. I couldn't imagine the damage you'd do. You'd just, just destroy things, man. Just destroy things. But you see what I mean about him taking out ads here. This is the the part where he's well, wasting a bit of time or he's losing a bit of time. I know the Sentinel uh, subclass now with the Doomfangs is insane. People have seen a few videos. I saw a video from Glad. I don't know if you've seen that. He makes it last about 20 minutes. He makes it last about absolutely just ridiculous. 20 minutes. One super, that's insane. That is absolutely insane. But yeah. I'm actually gonna make a video on that if you haven't seen it already, but full credit will be to Kalad. I mean he was the founder. 20 minute super people! And he just died again. That's what I'm saying, this what I'm saying. He's wasting quite a bit of time, he's only got eight minutes left as well. And it's because of the ads, the amount of ads. And like I said, you this time you'd waste, by the time you'd save, rushing through the jumping pools at the start with a Titan. You'd save him this room here with a Hunter. So this would definitely be done on the Hunter as well. I'm 100% certain. I mean, I'd, I'd attempt it. I probably would attempt it live for you guys just to see me failing. If you want to see that, let me know down below in that comment section because you will see me failing there quite a lot. But I'm pretty certain this is easily achievable. On a hunter, arc strider, radiant fluxes, murderous black spindle, mana na 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 there we go. We got that heavy. Okay, so we've still got another enemy there. Takes his shield off and just destroys you with a black spindle. Damn! Now I've got the first boss spawning. Now the first boss to me is the most annoying because he moves left, right, hides behind things. It can get seriously annoying. It really can. Like I'm saying here, you're missing headshots if you're in your uh, Warlock's Empowering Rift. I don't matter. You never have to reload. Never have to reload. And you get that extra damage as well. And I'd probably, if I was on a Warlock, I'd probably bring my Black Spindle and also bring my Polaris Lance. Because obviously when you run out of heavy ammo, which you will eventually do, I mean, you can always go down into the main room and get some more, but wouldn't that be wasting more time? I'd probably, you'd probably save the time, the damage you put in the boss, but if there's no heavy there and you eventually will run out. Plows Lance in the Empowering Rift. Oh, we just got eight by a blight or whatever it was. Aspect of Darkness. A bolt of Darkness bolt. Yeah, the Plows. Look how far it spawns you back. Damn, you have to run through all that again. I'll try not to die here, though. Oh, see, this is like heavy. It's, wow. Fair play. Good job it spawning back that far. 
But yeah, Pelos, Lancet, and Palin Rift. Wow, the damage would be nice. That's what I mean about this boss, he moves, doesn't stay. He's actually been quite decent now. For me, he likes to just teleport like jutter like that, like I just saw, and go all over the place. Pop, pop, pop. There we go, he's down. He's down. Now, I'm not sure how, I know it wasn't many runs it took him to do this. Oh, he's got his hammers back now, he's gonna, now he's gonna take out some ads, take out the blights as well. Suicidal man! Damn he went that was never gonna end well. But like I said, he's died a few times already. He's still got plenty of time to do this. The black spin just makes it easy work, it really does. It just makes easy work. And you you obviously will have it because of if this is a heroic version, that's what this video is about. It's how to solo the whisper. Well not yeah, well the whisper heroic mission on IO. So man about this cabal dude. He just, he just rarely moves. I mean, he can get a four or five shots off before he even decides to go. Yeah, well, I'm getting shot in the face now. I'm going to go hide behind a rocket. We all know Destiny's uh, enemy AI ain't the greatest, ain't the most intelligent. I'm getting shot. I'll just stand here and get shot. I mean, look at the damage it's doing. Jesus. It's them, them bolt, ball, dark, boltness, ball, blight things are filth. Hey, destroy ya. You. You're a little weak hunter like me that one hit you. Imagine this when it's Solar Singe week. It should probably be this Tuesday. This is gonna be ridiculous, people. This is gonna be ridiculous, people. Yeah, I knew, yeah. A lot of people do this, they go into this cave here for the final enemy. So it just makes it a lot easier. Careful of that fire though, because that fire will burn your ass. Yeah, this, is, this is just way so easy. I mean, like I said, the amount of time he wasted in this final room, um, killing ads and that. And he's died four or five times now. This is easily achievable on any other character, in my opinion. Any other. So if you got destruct for friends, or you got no pals, if you like hard up, just do this. I mean, he did that with almost two and a half minutes left, and it wasn't even a clean run. That's ridiculous. No, I'm going to attempt this myself. I may as well. I'm going to do it on a hundred people, and if it's still here, oh, we knew that gameplay. But yeah, guys, that's it. A massive shout out to Well UK for sending me in the gameplay. Uh, this is how you solo. The Heroic Whisper mission, pretty easy, not going to lie, a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, just do what he does, take out the enemies as you do, as he does, and I'm sure you'll get through this if you're struggling. But yeah guys, that is the end of the video. Uh, let me tell you about my monthly controller giveaway now. Every single month, people, I give away a fully customizable controller. To be in with a chance of winning it, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below. Obviously, you need to be subscribed to the channel. Now, um... A controller can be sent to anywhere in the world, so it doesn't matter where you enter from. So it's worldwide, people. Worldwide, people. Uh, and then also follow the Gleam link linked at the top of the video description. It's fast, simple, and legit, people. And there's numerous ways you can enter the giveaway. So, yeah, guys, good luck to everybody who enters. But, guys, on that note, I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the video. Again, massive shout out to Royal UK for the footage. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.